Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav. And if you are doing API testing in Playwright, it is very important that you understand what is API request context. So API request context is a class in Playwright. And this is a class that helps us to do API testing. It has all the methods like get, post, put, delete, and all the return types for API testing. And I wanted to create this session so that you understand the basics, how we do API testing in Playwright. And then after you understand that, you can do any kind of API testing because just getting the code for your API test, getting the scripts is all okay. You can get it from online, you can get it from AI tools, but we should understand what it is, what is written, what it means and how exactly API testing is done. And therefore it is important for me to create this lecture. So please uh, understand this. You can also try hands-on along with me and then if you face any issues you can let me know okay so this is a class in playwright and it gives us all the methods for api testing like get post put delete header etc okay and we don't directly use this class we invoke this class or we uh, create an object of the class using this statement p or playwright dot request dot new underscore context and if you have seen the last session where we have started api testing let me go to my project and in the last session we created this test so you can see here here exactly this is what we have done we have set playwright and then dot request dot new underscore context and this invokes the class and creates the objects and that we are using we can create any variable here so that after this after we write this statement we can then use this request to invoke any of the functions of this class for example here we have used request.get similarly we can say request.post put delete whatever api testing we want to do and then all the other functions for apis we will have it from this class okay and you can also search for the documentation if you just search for api request context playwright it will take you to this docs and you can also change to python or whatever language you are using for your playwright and you can see under classes we have api request context and here you can see all its methods here so we have all get post put delete dispose patch etc everything is here okay so this is a class that we use for api testing and using this class we can send direct api requests to endpoints we can uh, directly do api testing without loading the whole browser and then we can use it standalone and also with ui tests okay so you can also check this on in this documentation here you can see here api request context context written by browser underscore context dot request and page dot request okay and shares cookie storage with the corresponding browser context so uh, don't worry if you're not getting this you will see the example and understand that if you want to use your api testing along with your browser testing and you want to share you know some values maybe from browser to apis or vice versa you can use it so here you can see this will launch a new browser create a context and page and when making http request with the internal api request context so you can see these examples and understand but this is okay if, even if you don't get it so the focus here is that we understand this particular class how to use it how to get its methods and then we will be able to understand any api test code that we write in playwright all right so how to use this class so we first create a request context so we say request underscore context equals p dot request dot new context and this is this form this way of writing is for uh, playwright python without the pytest plugin in case you have used the pytest plugin or you have installed pytest playwright then we can directly write the function and then call this fixture so playwright is a inbuilt fixture in the pytest plugin and using that we can directly we don't have to manually call anything like this so if you see our example in the last session that we created this is how we did it right 
we just call this playwright fixture because we are using playwright with the pytest plugin and then we don't have to do anything manually we just then directly call this request.new context using this playwright fixture okay so this is how we use it and then after this we make an api call so once we have invoked the class the api request context using this statement request.new underscore context and if we have stored it in any variable like request context using this we can make api call because now we can invoke and access any of its methods like dot get get post put delete any method you want based on the api call you want to make you can use it like this and then after that the response will be stored in this variable response and then using this response we can get all the details like status the response body uh, and other things we can also you know add all these assertions so if you have if i go back to my last sessions test we created you can see after we got the response we have done all these assertions okay response dot status then we have got the response dot json to get the json of the response and then we are also checking this at this particular location this should be the value and then finally we dispose the request context okay so this is what we do at the end we dispose it off this is also a function here you can see here dispose okay so we always use this at the end okay so this is a very simple workflow for using this api request context we create the request context which will invoke the re api request context class then we make an api call whatever is our api whether it is a get post put delete we make the call then we will store the response in a variable and then using that variable we can get all the details about the response its status uh, body etc and using that we do assertions and this is the main part of testing okay so when we this part is just invoking or sending the request and getting the response and this part is all the assertions so that we the checks we do on the response and then we can at the end dispose the request context okay so with this now you will understand if you see any code api code in playwright you will be able to understand what is happening and how is it working now let us see a example a get api call so this here again you can see we start by creating the request context using the this script playwright.request.new context and i have already shown you told you that if you are using the pytest playwright plugin you can directly use the playwright fixture like this and can call the request context like this okay and then we call the request we call the api using the request context store the response and then we do the assertions on the response okay so i have uh, specifically mentioned this that if you have if you are using pytest playwright plugin we can directly use this statement which is a which uses a playwright fixture and then here we can directly call the request context this is an example of a post api call and here exact some everything is same the only difference you will find here is instead of get we are using a post and then for a post we also need a payload or a request body and we can send the request body based on whatever format we are using we can send it along with the request and then we will get the response and we will do the assertions now in case of post if you go back to the documentation you will see here we have post so if you go to post you can see some examples so you can pass the json objects if your request body is json we can directly use this block data block within curly brackets we can pass our json body and we can then send it along with our request okay otherwise if you are using a form data you can also do it in the same way multi part form data then here is a 
example to upload form fields with multi part you can see these are the multi part example okay so this is based on your need of the api based on whatever you are uh, your api needs are you can pass the payload accordingly okay so this is the same link so these are the return types so we can get the status using response dot status and then we can check whether the status is 200 201 etc we can also say response dot okay and if your response is any successful response in the 200s this will return true otherwise it will return false so accordingly we can create our assertions we can also get the json from the response then we can get uh, the text format from the response and we can get the response body so a uh, different types of uh, functions we have for response and then we can do our assertions okay so this is all about api request context i will suggest you that you can check the documentation of this class and try some examples on your own and if you face any issues please let me know i hope this was useful thank you for watching and never stop learning